Hi, this is Tracy with Organize Simply. I am so excited because today we are going to organize Trevor and Lila's RV. It's my brother. So this is a challenge because this is not just a typical RV that they take on vacation. This is their home. They are living here full time. So storage can be an issue, especially when they have three people and one or two dogs, <laughs> depending. They have a lot they have to store and there's some challenges. So let's go see what we can do to fix things up and make it more functional and more organized so they can feel peaceful and really enjoy their home. Come on. In this RV, because it is their home, they have made it a little home. I know in other videos they've shown you the transformation. If you haven't seen it, you really should watch it because it's freaking amazing. It is beautiful. Can't wait for you to see it. Okay, so they have this darling bedroom. I love it, I love it. They have this great little space up here and right now things are just kind of getting thrown up there because they don't have a plan. We're gonna create a, a zone for everything they have. Everything they own in this RV is going to have a home. So can't wait to see what we're gonna do with that. But let me show you some other spaces. They have a little hanging area in here, not tons, but they have a nice little hanging section. But again, it's not, obviously not real functional. They have a lot of folded clothes. It doesn't really have a place or a home. They don't know where to put it, so it just gets thrown in. They have one drawer in here for all of their clothes for Trevor and Leela. Um, again, we just need to create some order, maybe find some other places some of these clothes can go just so it's more comfortable. Okay, what is really cool about this is look, one hand, they just lift their bed up and they have this amazing storage under the bed. So we're gonna clean that up and decide what's gonna go down there. But look, also, when the bed comes down, there's this nice space underneath the bed that we could put some baskets and things right there as well. Layla says when the, when the RV's moving, they have all their little toiletries up here and they clunk, they fall all over the place. It's just a big mess. It's hard to keep it tidy. So we're gonna come up with a system that will help with that as well. There's some great space underneath the sink. Some of it dips down a little bit, which kind of makes it weird. Things can't slide in and out, but we're gonna come up with a great solution just so they can find what they're looking for when they're getting ready for their day. How cool is this? If you saw the before, this is amazing what they did after. Um, they built a little hearth or something, whatever they call for over their fireplace. Really cute shelves. Up above is some really great storage. It's not really deep, but again, it's something that can be used. We want it to be beautiful though, because there is glass. So it, it needs to look pretty as well. Their entire kitchen for three people is right here. They only need the bare minimum, which is fine. They have everything they need here. They're just having a hard time finding it. They wanna be able to pull things out and know what's back here. Um, and that right now that's kind of hard to do. Um, in here, they had some glasses. They're plastic, but they still are cracking because they're falling all over the place. We don't want that to happen. This is their pantry. You know, Organized Simply loves to organize pantries. This is very deep, very deep, but we only have like three Oh, you have a couple more shelves here, plenty of space. We're just gonna make it really functional and cute for them, but this is what it looks like now. Let's see what we do with it. They have just three kitchen drawers as well. So they have their silverware, their kitchen tools and things. They just need a system to make it, again, more functional. I just discovered there's yet another drawer. This is exciting. Every drawer is awesome. So it's been frustrating for Trevor and Leela because they have been out in the middle of nowhere. They don't have any containers. To create a system, you have to have containers. So that's what I'm gonna give them. We're gonna label things and then they will be able to maintain it. Just wanna also show there is an under the sink. So we're gonna fix this as well. So this under the sink actually has another access over here and it's much more deep. This is where the pots and pans need to go. Okay, now let me show you Trevor and Leela's office. <laughs> so cool. This is where Trevor makes all the magic come true with his videos. So he has this great work, workspace in here. And then this is a desk for all of their extra office 
office-y stuff. Lila's a realtor, so she has lots of paperwork and things. And so this is it for their storage, but we'll figure something out so that they can find what they're looking for and so it can be more functional. And of course, we always make it beautiful. Upstairs is Kaylin's bedroom. She has a nice, comfortable bed and about two feet to store all of her extra things. We're back in the living room. Kaylin's room's up there. She comes down in the morning and her clothes are actually hidden under this couch. I think that's a fabulous idea. That's a great way that they've already used to store things. Okay, I am so excited. Are you ready to get started, Lila? I am ready to get started. Where would you like to start? I think the kitchen, because this is the place that I think is just the most dysfunctional of Kitchen all is always the place you really, you, we usually want to start, so let's get to it. I'm okay. excited. The first step to any organizing product project is to pull everything out. So that's what we're gonna do first. We're gonna pull it all out and see what we have to work with. Hey, welcome to Trevor and Leela and Kaylin's home. We got it all organized and functional and beautiful. Come and see. Okay, let's start off in the kitchen because that is the busiest space in a home, right? And we really, really need to maximize the space as much as possible. So I'll show you what we did. Because when you're in an RV and you're really limited on space, it's super important that you use your vertical space. And that's what we've done here. And it's okay because we have an awesome step stool that they can just quickly step on to get to the higher spots. Lila got this on Amazon, we'll give you the link below. But it's the typical step stool, but it's really high. And it has polka dots, which Lila loves because polka dots are everywhere you'll see. So super cute, super easy to store, and super easy to just step on. So bam, we're up high so quickly, and we're using this space. They have a lot of protein, so we have baskets for their proteins and their mixers, and their everyday proteins are in OXO containers. Any extra actually fits in the very back. You have room back there as well. So this is perfect and it carries over right above the fridge. So all their proteins are together. We wanted to really utilize this space. So we had Dan put in another shelf. So now we have three levels that we can use. These plates are beautiful. They look like they're gonna break. Lila got them at Ikea, but they're plastic, which is great. Um, and then we just stick on the sides. We just put the glasses so when the RV is moving, they're not falling all over. The plates support it. We have another shelf for all the bowls and up above for all the extra snacks. We put things in OXO containers for two reasons. Number one, it keeps the food more fresh. You don't have open boxes. Everything is sealed. You can see what you have. You can see when you're running low and it looks beautiful. And because the space is open and there's glass in front of it, we just want it to look beautiful. It's their home and it works. Link below. We're really taking advantage of every bit of space, even the microwave. So in the microwave, we are storing bread and paper towels. When they use the microwave, it's easy to just pull out. And then when you're done, put it back. It's a perfectly good shelf. Why not use it? You may be concerned that things are gonna be flying off the shelves when the RV is moving, but what's great is there is just enough of a lip up here that catches and it holds things in place. There are a couple things that they do need to take down be right before they take off, like this top shelf up above. But they get on their stepping stool and they just pull it down and put it in the sink. It's easy. Welcome to the pantry. This is it, folks. It's a very deep pantry, and so to, the way to utilize that space is to get an extra long acrylic. This is a 16 inch acrylic, and using this helps you be able to pull things out, see what you have, and things aren't gonna be left, um, get lost in the back. Trevor and Leela need to go shopping, but when they do go shopping, they only buy what they need for those for a few days. A huge key to being organized is to only buy or have what you have enough space for. So this is it for their pantry. They don't wanna cram it. They wanna just fit what fits in there comfortably. 
and we labeled so they'll remember oh this is for our snacks this is for our canned foods these are for our dinner foods and they only buy what fits in these spots even the potatoes are in a skinny 16 inch acrylic but it's easy to grab and then the potatoes are going in the long 16 inch row it just really utilizes the space well when you have a small space but deep cabinets this nifty little holder we found on Amazon to hold your spices. It just is a sticky back right to the back of your cabinet. It doesn't interfere with anything. It looks beautiful and easy to see, easy to access. And we're utilizing that door space. Link below. For the drawers, we do the same thing in an RV that we do in any home, any drawer space. You want to use drawer organizers just to keep things separate and to give each each and everything that you own a home down to the paper clip down to the fork it has a home beautiful acrylic this drawer is a little deeper it's what we're storing cooking tools and baking tools in just because it it's deep doesn't mean you fill it and cram it tight as you can see you know we have organizers again there's a place for everything and then we do throw in a couple things like this this is perfect for an rv for your colander you can just pop it out ah, and it becomes a colander becomes a colander so perfect then you just close it and you pop it in your drawer so when you're getting to your cooking tools it's still all you have to do is lift out this one thing and your cooking tools are behind or underneath it works for pots and pans they only use a very minimal amount just a couple pots and pans there's a couple underneath the fridge and then we stored the ones that they use a lot around the corner let me show you this space is a little tricky because it has tubing and there's nothing we can do about it it's right there but that's okay we made things work the extra pans that they have that they use on a daily basis are right here and then we just have the dog food it's, it goes right in front doggy basket it's all together easy to see everything is labeled so it's going to be easy to find what you're looking for we have some paper bags and bags and filters um, breakfast is right here we didn't have room over in the pantry but they fit perfectly right here behind the tubing we just have their water flex they fit perfectly it works now everything has a home. If you've enjoyed any of these tips, if you've learned anything at all, go ahead and hit that like button. Give my brother some love. You can also continue following them along in their journey by just hitting that subscribe button. Go ahead, do it, do it. When you're in an RV, you want to wash as little as possible. So Norwex rags are a great solution for RV users. Um, these cloths are made with embedded silver and they self sanitize when they dry so normally your dish cloths you're washing you know i like to wash mine every day they get grubby and gross but when you have norwex you can hang them on a hook you have to hang them to drive in to dry in order for the silver to work but once they dry you can use them again they smell fresh and you only need to wash them about once a week because norwex rags cloths they're not rags they're cloths because norwex cloths need to be hung to dry we just put a little command hook here and you hang it with the tag and they're always there always accessible there's one that you wash with one that you buff dry and do your and wash your windows with but also in here we want it to look beautiful as much as possible so we use these beautiful bamboo organizers to create a home for everything in here we have our little stand it when Leela dries dishes she puts this out for the, for the plates she can put her sponges there we have our dish soaps everything that she needs is right here the cloths we rolled so if they're flat it's harder to get to when they're rolled you can see everything that you have and you can put other things in the container as well we put the toaster right here it's easy to pull out put on the counter when you have toast in the morning so right next to the toaster we put all of the spreads all the peanut butter jelly and um what's the chocolate stuff you like trevor nutella nutella do you want to see trevor's office come on i'll show you Can you believe this is an RV? Isn't it beautiful? Let me show you what we did to help create order in this beautiful office space. 
Once again, we want it to be beautiful. So we just added these really cute baskets. There is a lip here. So even when the RV is moving, they're gonna stay in place, which is great. But then when they need to get to things, they can just lift it up and pull it out. And we've used every bit of that space. We labeled it with these cute little bin clips. We just put a chalkboard label on top of it. Like once again, you want everything labeled. This extra large basket fit beautiful in this space. And you want it tall so you can hide the ugly. There's always things that you're gonna need that are sloppy and messy, but you put it in a beautiful basket and it's perfect. This cabinet is where Trevor and Leela are storing all of their office supplies. And they've really kept things to a minimum, which is great. Like always, you don't want things overstuffed. You just want your bare minimum, what they need while they're on the road. So we have a bin for Trevor, Leela, and Kaylin. And then we have that large corner space that's always really tricky. Let me show you what we did. First, you do need to pull out just a couple bins. It's very simple. And then in the back, we put another bin. This is where their printer is. It's labeled, so even when it's pushed back, they can see what it is and we're using every bit of that space. Once again, we put some bins in the corner, but it's really simple. You just pull out these bins and then bam, you can pull it out. Nothing is gonna get lost in that corner. For your drawers, you always want drawer organizers, little acrylic to fit the things that you need to have in your drawer. Trevor and Lila are very minimal. I was really surprised at the little bit of stuff they needed in their drawers. But all the things they do need now have a home in their own little acrylic. Isn't this cute? Can you believe it's an RV? I just think it is so cute. Lila does have some cute little accessories she puts down when she's settled and home and parked. And then when they take off, she just picks the, thing, the loose things up and puts them up here. This is Trevor, Leela, and Kaylin's bathroom. And this is the medicine cabinet where they keep just about everything. It used to have things falling all over the place when they drove. Everything got all mixed up. What we did to fix that problem is just use little 10 inch acrylic. It's 10 inches long and about four inches wide and it fit in this gap just perfect. So now it holds things together. They're not gonna fall all over when the RV is moving. It keeps it contained. And once again, it creates a home for their things. They had a little more space under their sink and to utilize the space perfectly, you always wanna measure. We found out that from this lip all the way to the back, there's exactly 14 inches. So I got some 14 inch deep acrylic so I can pull things out and then push it back in. And things aren't gonna get lost in the very back. And then we labeled what everything was so everything has a designated home. You could put stacking containers here, but I hate to do that. You don't want your bathroom crammed full. You only want the very necessity, what you're gonna be using, and you wanna be able to reach in or pull out and easily see what you have. And this is what we did here. Check out this beautiful bedroom and you'll be amazed at how much you can actually fit in this room. I'll show you all the storage. Let's see it. Check out the storage under this bed real easily. Bam, you just lifted it up and there's all kinds of storage underneath. And I didn't even really have to do anything. Trevor and Leela had already stored some things. They put them in bins. Everything has a home. I just helped them straighten it up. The thing about storage spaces like this is we have a tendency to cram and stuff them. You want to make sure that everything in a space like this is designated a place and a home. Have a container, have a bin for it, and don't pile things on top of it. Only fit what fits comfortably. There was a little bit of space right in front of this bed. Look, if you drop it down, bam, 
space. So this is where we added just three more storage bins. More great storage above their bed. You just lift up and we put these really cute baskets. Again, we measured to make sure we utilize the space as much as possible. Easy to pull in and out. And this is what's storing all of their socks and underwear. Perfect, it's hidden with these darling baskets. Now it's part of the decor. Underwear, part of the decor. Check out this closet space. Isn't it beautiful? We hung up as much as we could. We went through um, with Leela and Trevor and edited things down. You only want what fits comfortably in your space. And these are the things that they're gonna use all the time. We got these hangers at Ikea because they're shorter. A basic hanger sticks out and then it would hit against here. It just didn't fit well. The Ikea hangers are great for these narrow closet spaces. Also, they're slim, so you can fit much more in than a typical round hanger. They're slim. Perfect. Inside their drawers, we just put some bamboo spring-loaded dividers just to create a home, a nice column for each row. When you fold, you want to file fold or roll so things are standing up and you can see what you have. This is it. This is all they need. Welcome to Kaylin's bedroom. As you can see, Kaylin does not have a lot of room up here, but we utilize the space as much as we could. You always want to utilize your vertical space, and that's what we did here by getting stacking bins that filled the space all the way to the ceiling. Kaylin, again, is very minimal. I've been shocked at what she actually has in her room, but we were easily able to organize it using these stacking bins and we went ahead and labeled everything so when she glances at the label she's going to make sure she puts the proper things away so we did stacking bins over here we did need access to the plug over in this corner so we needed things shorter over here so we used multi-purpose bins these are great to stand up notebooks and we also have more of her office supplies pens pencils in here as well perfect she has everything she needs except for clothes. <laughs> I'm gonna show you what we did with her clothes in just a minute. She had a couple more sweatshirts that we couldn't fit in the space we have. So we just used one of those bins right here for her extra clothes and bam, she's got everything. She loves it up here. It's so cute. Pretty nifty couch, isn't it? It's beautiful. And what's even better is it has amazing storage. Let me show you. So all Kaylin has to do is lift up this cushion and lift up right here and bam, her dresser drawers. We went through all of her clothes and we decided there were some things, it was too full and there were things she didn't use very often. We're storing those things at her sister's house and this is all that Kaylin needs. Fits perfectly, everything has a home. It's her swim stuff, her leggings, her shorts, pajamas, bras and underwear everything she needs right here. If you'd like to see more of my organizing tips, follow me on Instagram, Organize with Tracy. If you'd like to follow Trevor and Leela along on their adventure, click right here. To follow along on all of their adventures, make sure to click here to subscribe. They can't wait to share their adventure with you.